Hi, welcome to Strumming with Steve. This week we're going to take the island strum that we looked at before, but this time we're going to add a palm mute, and we're going to use some different chords. This time we're using G, E minor, A minor, and D in the, the, the shape we're used to playing the D. Now you could, since you learned that other one, go ahead and throw it in if you want to. But in this case, I'm going to be demonstrating it with that regular D. Now we're going to have that same in the island strum we had, bum on the bass note. The difference here is I've got some palm mutes. So I pluck, I roll, and as I'm coming up, alter a little bit what you're doing with the palm mutes, but basically what I'm doing is strum, pluck, strum, and getting the second one. Now you could also cut it off. before when I'm playing that first bum or the boom I want the name of the chord I'm playing so there's a G here's an E here's an A minor here's a D that means my right hand has to be accurate as I'm moving around I'm on the sixth string sixth string fifth string fourth string but I'm gonna have to change when I'm playing the G I've got six strings to get across to get that nice long dragged strum I got six strings for the E. When I get to the A chord, the A minor, I've only got five strings. When I get to the D, I only have four. Now, when does the palm mute come in? Boom, strum. So I do my as I'm coming up from that. So I have a down and I have a drag, up strum, palm mute. And then I come up and I can mute again or I can just let it go and strum down. So the island palm mute strum has got some space in it in a different way than when we played with just lifting up our fingers. We're actually stopping all the sound and it gives you a tight feel. This is really useful if you're backing up someone who's playing steel drum or some other kind of nice island sounding instrument and you want to leave some space in the music. When you just play chords like this, there's really not any space to have the sound come through when there's another instrument playing some melody. So that's why I like to use the palm mutes or this kind of a strum. Here we go one more time. G, E minor, A minor, B, G, E minor, A minor. One more time. Well, this is Strumming with Steve. I'll see you next week when we'll take a look at some other kind of strumming. If you'd like to subscribe to our 
channel, then you'll see everything that gets posted here. But if you really want to learn how to play guitar, come on over to jamplay.com and see me there. See you next time.